Hey Eddie, what's up, man? I'm Brandon. I'm the guy that talked to you on the phone uh, yesterday. I uh, figured I'd just make you a quick little short video here. I thought it'd be a better way of kind of getting my information across to you and and I could show you uh, just a little more detail about what I do and, and why it works. And just real quick, a little about me. I'm, uh, I moved to Arizona three years ago. I was a soccer player. I signed with Arizona United and that's how I ended up down here. But now I'm 31. I'm kind of done playing. I'm retired and uh, I'm married. I got a little girl and we live we live in Surprise. Um, but now this is what I do full time. I, I really help small business owners just blow up their business with with uh, online marketing. And honestly, it's it's really simple. I'm just getting you in front of where all the customers are because the majority of people are going to one spot. They're going to Google. So I'm going to kind of get into it here and show you um, why it works and how it works, basically. And you probably know a little bit more than most people based on, you know, your history with building your own website and doing uh, AdWords and stuff like that. But I'll just kind of go over everything real quick just to give you a little insight into it. Okay, so first thing I want to show you is one little thing about how Google works. It's it's pretty simple, but it's something most people just really don't understand. So let's say I wanted to get information about um, penguins. Okay. So I go to Google and I type in penguins. All right. Uh, I mean, I got, let's see a hockey team here, but right here, Wikipedia, usually I use a different animal. Okay. There's a sports team there. So let's go with something like elephants. Right, elephants. The first page that comes up is Wikipedia's page all about elephants. And why does Google rank that first? Well, there's a lot of different reasons, but the main reason being that Wikipedia is a very trustworthy site in Google's eyes, and they've got tons and tons of information all about elephants. They've got like 20,000 plus words and everything you could ever want to know about them. All the kinds of different species, all about the anatomy, morphology, the ears, the trunk, the teeth, the neck, the bones, the skin, everything you could possibly want to know about elephants you can find out on this page, right? And Google's job is to put the most relevant source of information in front of my eyeballs as, as a searcher, right? If I, if I wanted information about elephants and I was given pages about like candles and books and notebooks and computers or something like that, I wouldn't use Google anymore, right? The reason Google's number one is because they're really good at putting the right information in front of my eyes. So whenever I need information, I'm going to come to Google and search for it, right? Well, the same thing goes with uh, a local business or a local service. So for example, let's, let's uh, just take something like plumbing. Okay. Let's say I live in uh, Scottsdale and I want a plumber. So I might type Scottsdale plumber. Okay. Now, right here, you've got the people that are paying for AdWords, just like you did with your uh, with your detailing business before. And then you've got the local map with the three businesses. You've got A, B, and C. Okay. Now, there's different things that go into how you rank at the top of this. And I'm not going to get into all that right now because it's just way too much information. But then you have the top. Like, if we look at this, number one here is Scottsdale Plumbing Co., right? And their website is scottsdaleplumbing.com. There they are. They're number one at the top of the organic listing as well. So clearly when anybody's searching for a plumber in Scottsdale, I guarantee you these guys are getting the most business. These guys are the same people, number one and number one, right? The thing is 80% of people when they need a local service, whether it's plumbing or a handyman or car detailing or a tow truck or whatever, they go to Google. And so 96% of those people then that come to Google, they never leave the first page. Nobody's ever going to come down here and go, oh, I'm going to go to page two. Oh, I think I'm going to go to page three and end up on like page six to find their plumber in Scottsdale. They're not going to do that. They're going to go right here to the top of page one. They're going to either click on these ads or they're going to skip over that like most people do. And they're going to look at what's here in the map or they're going to come down to the organic listings. Okay. So what I do is I build a site and I get it to the top of both the map and the organic listing. Okay. So I'm going to show you an example. Like I think I talked to you about the phone on the phone is uh, I've got a tow truck site in Scottsdale that is doing really well. I went live with it like eight weeks ago 
and it's already at the top. So say I go Scottsdale tow truck because I'm broken down in Scottsdale and that's what I need. And um, this is the com most commonly searched term. That's what most people are going to put in, right? So number one right here is Scottsdale Tow Truck Company. This is my site right here at the top of the organic listing, ScottsdaleTowTruckCompany.com. That's me. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you real quick. Um, as you can see, it's got a nice clean look to it. It's got a nice call to action right here so people can just straight up call. They don't have to go through and read everything, but if they want to, they can. If it's like not a rush, they can fill out a, a form here and and we can get back to them, right? But it's got tons of information, all the different cities, all the different types of towing, car accident recovery, 24 hour roadside assistance, fuel delivery, flat tire changing, car lockout, battery jump start. It's got nice pictures, right? It's got just a lot, a lot of content and information. So basically I've just done way more than what the competition does, you know? Let's go look at the guy below me, tow for less. Look at their website. That's how sparse it is, how just crap it is, dude. It's <laughs> But you can't really be mad at these people because they don't know any better. So we're competing against other small business owners that are too afraid to find somebody to handle the marketing side of it because it's like a little bit of investment. You know what I mean? And uh, so they just like, this was probably done by some guy that just built out his site. This was built in 2001. And that's the only reason it's even close to the top is just because of how old it is. All right. But as you can see, I've been live for eight weeks. This guy's been up there for 15 years and I beat him out within two months, you know? So, uh, now I want to show you like there's some people that might search stuff like towing, right? They might put Scottsdale towing or towing service. If you put towing my site in the organic listing, is right here at number five. I haven't made it to the top yet. I'm still working on that. But if you go to more places in there, I'm number four in the map. So I haven't cracked into the top three of the map pack for that yet. But as time goes on, I'm the one doing all the little work to push it up there. These guys aren't doing anything, you know? So I will climb to the top for towing, for let's try like towing service, right? Some people might search that. If you look there, I'm number three in the map. And, uh, number four there in the organic listing. So as time goes on, I'm going to be on top for all these different terms that people might search for um, and all the different kind of orders that it could be in. So people might search towing Scottsdale AZ or towing service or roadside assistance Scottsdale, stuff like that. And my goal is to get it to the top for all those different terms and just capture more and more people because the majority of people, they come to Google, they search what they search and they click on something that's either in these top three or in these like top three or four. So um, let's take a look real quick at uh, Handyman, okay? So I searched Handyman Tempe, right? And I've kind of poked around a little bit and I know you service the whole valley, I'm sure, but Tempe is something that just from researching a little bit, I know that we could crack into pretty quick, right? Um, just because what I do to figure that out is I see that these guys, okay, number one in the maps doesn't even have a website. Number two and three, their websites are not even on the first page here. So that just tells me it's it's kind of low competition and I can get into it quickly. Um, now, let's say we wanted to rank for Phoenix, right? It's going to be a little bit harder just because um, we're competing against like Mr. Handyman, which is a, a nationwide like basically it's a nationwide, uh, they've got just websites in all kinds of different locations, but like there's a Mr. Handyman everywhere, Miami and all kinds of different cities. So they're right here. They're number two. The number one listing is Yelp. It's actually above the maps there, but so not to say that it couldn't be done. We couldn't beat them out because totally could, but it would just take a little more time. Right. And then you'd be getting, a lot, a lot of call volume. But I think to start for you, what's probably best, since you're just sort of a one-man show, is to target an area like Tempe that's low competition. We get you some business, get you growing, get you making a lot of money, and then we can look into, okay, now what kind of cities do we want to expand into, right? So hopefully that shows you a little bit there. Now let's take a look at your 
this is your Shine Pro website, right? And you did a good job. Like it looks really cool. It's clean. The you've got like images that sort of blurred together, and they look nice. Uh, it looks great. The problem is the reason why you're having trouble in the organic listing is because nowhere in here does it say anything about Phoenix or any sort of city, right? So when Google crawls over your site, it doesn't say like car detailing in Phoenix or auto detailing Phoenix, you know, it says mobile auto detailing, um, but it doesn't tell like where you serve and, and anything like that. And plus it's information wise, you know, you've probably got like 60 words here and you just want to have like a thousand plus words. So if that's something you're interested in, I can, I can definitely sort of revamp this and, and get it to, to climb up the rankings. Now I want to show you another thing, another site that I built a little bit ago that I've kind of sort of put on the back burner is Phoenix car detailing. All right. And it's actually right here. It's number two in the maps. Um, and that's getting a few calls here and there, like <clears throat> the organic listings. I haven't really touched it. It's like on page five. That's sort of where it landed. And I haven't really done any of the work kind of behind the scenes to make that one push up because I've just been working on other sites and I figured eh, I'll just, I'll just push this one up in the maps and get some calls going that way and find somebody. And so what I'm doing, I've got a guy, um, his name's Orlando. He's a, he does mobile auto detailing. I've just been sending him leads for free when I get them. Um, and I'm actually meeting with him on Monday to kind of tell him what I do or explain this a little bit more and, and see kind of what his interest is, see what he's like, see if it's even a good fit for us. But, um, but if it is something that you're interested in, you know, I'd be willing to talk to you about you taking the leads from this site as well, or rather than him. I mean, sorry, I'm not going to send leads to both people. I keep it exclusive between me and one of their guys. So if you're interested, the leads that I get from this site, uh, I can just, I, we can talk about sending those to you instead of him. Um, but that's something for another day, but I just wanted to kind of show you that that's out there as well already. Like I've already put my time and money into this site and uh, it's already pulling in some leads. So uh, hopefully that kind of makes sense, you know, and that helps clarify a few things. But um, yeah, if you have any other questions, man, feel free to, to give me a shout and we can talk a little further. And um, I know you said you were going to give me a call in the beginning of the week, but whenever you're, you're, uh, you've got some time, we can, we can meet up and, and, uh, you know, meet for coffee or lunch or something like that. And kind of, I want to figure out what, what your goals are, what you're looking to get out of your business and, and then see kind of how I can help. Basically, I'm just an expert at getting customers because this is where everybody goes and I know exactly what to do to get the site up there and up here so I can definitely help you if you want to be different than like the 99% of small business owners that are too afraid to to invest in their business then I can help you big time man because really it's just a numbers game like uh, you got to figure out what a lead is worth to you as a handyman you know when you get a call I don't know what the average job is worth it's probably somewhere between 75 and 100 bucks i would guess maybe more i'm sure but um I'd, i'm just a numbers guy and i like to figure out okay if if it's going to take you x amount of customers to to pay for what this costs every month then here's how long it should take until you're in just blow up mode where you're just making way more money than you're having to than the, the cut that you're having to pay me every month to uh, to just keep these calls coming to you. So hopefully that makes sense and we can talk more whenever you're ready. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch this and Happy New Year.